There's a lot of excitement about the two Oberheim-inspired synths coming to the market, the Behringer UBXA and the Oberheim OBX8. But I'm concerned. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Zach Marr from Alma Music here in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications. This is our Alamo Sound Lab channel where we talk about all things music tech related. And today I want to talk about the two Oberheim inspired synths coming to the market. One has actually been designed by Oberheim and his team, the OBX8, which is a kind of new part of the OB lineage, there was the OBX, the OBXA, and the OB8. And this is nodding to all of those while expanding upon it and creating a new instrument. And then there's the Behringer UBX8, which is a kind of recreation of the OBXA, arguably the most iconic of the OBX or the OB kind of series. And here's my dilemma about this. There's a lot of excitement, but there's this like cognitive dissonance that I've seen online when people I ha when people hear these synths in videos, um, the reaction is, "Wow, that person demoed this very badly. It doesn't sound very good." Or you know, it, it, it's fifty fifty. Not everybody says that, but there's a fair amount of negative feedback that, "Wow, what did they do wrong in this video um, when they were playing this or in their signal chain or whatnot?" And my dilemma about this is, I have a question. And, you know, I think there's an assumption that, you know, there's iconic sounds from Roland, there's iconic sounds from Sequential with the Prophet, with the Jupiter 8, with Roland, um, Yamaha with their CS series, their DX. There's these instruments with iconic sounds and styles of music associated with these iconic sounds. And then there's Oberheim. And, you know, with Van Halen's Jump being probably the most iconic song and the Oberheim, that the Oberheim sounds associated with. And the question I have is, is the Oberheim sound, the iconic Oberheim sound or the kind of general tones that those instruments produced, did they and do they appeal to as broad a palette um, as some of these other iconic sounds from different manufacturers? Is, and my question is, is the issue with these two new kind of uh, synths in the Oberheim lineage and legacy, is the issue, and are we already seeing, the, is there an issue with the instruments, or is the sound just not as universally loved? Is it more of a niche sh sound? And I think that's just a funny thing. I mean, Jorb and his channel made a video on the OB6, and he talked about how much he loved it, but at the end of the day, it wasn't necessarily for him. And I just think this is interesting that the Oberheim sound is its own thing. My friend uh, Jack Zimmerman is a huge Oberheim fan. I think he has every single one, um, all the old iconic stuff, and he swears by it. And he, you know, he sends me clips, and I listen to it. I've only played on our kind of broken OBXA that's still being repaired, uh, and I. I'm not 100% sure the Oberheim sound is for me. And I don't know if it's, a, if it's one of those synths that, a Prophet 5, I've yet to find someone that's like, that has a terrible sound. You know, it's just kind of iconic. Maybe the Oberheim sound is just a little bit more niche. What are your thoughts? I know that's kind of a goofy thing to make a video about, but I'm really curious about that. Are we setting ourselves up for failure by expecting so much out of these synths when really, they may be designed really well, but they're designed to sound like an Oberheim, and that's maybe not as appealing as people think, and the hype may be disappointing for a lot of people. So I had a chance to play on the OBX8 at the show, at the name show, and I liked it, but again, it, it sounded, it didn't necessarily do it for me. And I don't think it's a bad synth. I think it's really cool, great design, and great feel, but it didn't necessarily do it for me. And I'm like, is there something wrong with me? Is it my palette? Uh, is it the instrument? Would love to hear other people's thoughts. Uh, leave a comment below. Let's continue this conversation. Thanks for listening.